Hey y'all, so today is Monday. I woke up, finally. My alarm went off at eight. I woke up at eight, but I had to finish editing my blog from last week. So if you guys can check it out, make sure you check it out. So I was supposed to be at the gym at nine. Right now it's like 10 something, but it don't matter because I woke up. That's the number one step. I finally woke up on the time that I planned. So yeah, I'm just in my bathroom right now. I'm about to head to the gymnasium, but I want to show y'all these leggings that I got from Pretty Little Thing. Like the kind of popular leggings that people have been wearing. Boom, boom. This is my little uh, gym bag, I guess. Cause I don't need a huge gym bag. So I just bring this little small Adidas backpack and I just keep my um, water and my resistance band that I do for my arm workout too. Yeah, actually I'm gonna make some pre-workout real quick. Okay guys, so I showed y'all my last vlog, but this is the pre-workout that I'm using. C4 pre-workout in blue raspberry. So it says to do one scoop for six to eight ounces and the little ounce thing is, this is eight ounces right here. So I'm gonna put some water in that bad boy and I did put some ice in mine because I like drinking my pre-workout cold. So I'm gonna take a scoop. This is actually like a scoop and a half. Boop. And I'm gonna take this to the gym with me, the rest of this water, and shake it up, baby. Let's go to the car. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ooh, this car be blazing. That's before Ye lost his mind. But anyways, so yeah, I'll just drink this pre-workout on my way to the gym. That way, by the time I get there, because it takes probably like eight minutes for me to drive to the gym. So by the time I get there, the pre-workout is ready to kick in, baby. I'm done with my workout. I had a pretty good workout. I shouldn't have did this. Oh Lord, I'm in the middle of the road, child. But yeah, guys, I had a pretty good workout. Um, I made up my own little workout routine that I do in the gym. Uh, I completed my whole little routine. The only thing that I didn't do 100% was the treadmill because I got so bored. I don't know. I even put on, at first I was just listening to music, but then like, dang. So I put on some YouTube so I can watch a couple videos, but I was bored doing that. So I tr my goal is to stay on the treadmill for 45 minutes. I only stayed like 25. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out or think of what else I can do uh, as far as cardio besides the treadmill. Sometimes I'll do the, I think it's the elliptical, but that gets boring too. That's just like the treadmill. So I'll, I'll figure it out. But anyways, guys, I'm about to head to the crib. Back to the crib, show you how it is. Let's get drunk, forget the weed in. I'ma buy you a drink. <laughs> Hey 
y'all. I just do not feel good. First off, I got the my last and final round of the COVID vaccine. And not everybody's gonna have symptoms or side effects, whatever, but immediately after I got the vaccine, I felt completely fine. It wasn't until the next day I felt it's like I had flu symptoms, like body aches. I could not sleep because my arm was hurting so bad. I felt a little nauseous. I had a headache, just a mess. But I took some Advil, I mean some Tylenol PM, went to sleep, woke up completely fine. But that was like days ago. Now I feel awful. If y'all or if anyone's new here or whatever, um, but I've told in my other vlogs, I have something called PCOS, which is polycystic ovary syndrome. I had to get put on this medicine by my doctor. I mean, I hope this isn't TMI, but I think everyone watching is pretty much girls. If you're not, I'm sure you got women in your life or something like that, right? So I basically, my cycle is super irregular. I pretty almost don't even have a cycle for real. So I got put on this medication to help ignite it and you know, all that good stuff. But one of the possible side effects to the medicine is nausea. Oh, I hate it. I just feel so nauseous. I had ginger ale. Cause you know, ginger really helps to just help the stomach out, period. I have some ginger little candy things that are for stomach and nausea. Natural hair problem 101. <laughs> this just hasn't been a great week for me. I still ain't got no job, a real job. My hair is, oh, I can't even get my hair in a decent bun. I'm just over all of it, everything. I'm over it. Darling. Hey y'all, so today is Wednesday. No, it's not, what's today? Is today Thursday? What is today? It is Thursday. I actually just got done filming a video. It'll be linked right here on the screen. But yeah, um, y'all, I really wanna get my hair. I don't know, I wanna do something different to my hair. I wanna get it done, go to a beauty salon or somebody house to get my hair done or something because I just live in buns like I'm surprised I even have edges because I'm always pulling my hair back even when I was a kid I always wore like buns with my hair in a ponytail I never really wear my hair down or out not that much especially now that it's hot child. it's too hot to be doing all that so I just be pulling this stuff back in the bun but I really want to go I just don't know what I want. Of course, I kind of want braids, but I'm kind of realizing I don't think braids are my thing because I mean, I love having braids for the convenience, but now that I think about it, braids don't really look that good on me. Now that I funk about it, I don't know, I might get some braids, but you know what I've never had? I've never ever in my whole life had twists, which is really crazy to me, but I've never had twists, but I might get like some single twist or something I don't know I kind of want to sew in but like I said it's way too hot for that but yeah I just got to film a little video um face <laughs> on team purr and uh oh I wanted to show you guys this new purchase that I got <laughs> boom baby go baby guys I got this Telfar 
bag that finally came in. I got it in this like, is this like copper or cognac? Whatever, and it's brown color. I thought it was so cute. First off, Telfar is black owned. It's a black owned luxury designer brand. So why y'all trying to spend y'all money on these some high profile white owned brands who really could care less about your black life um y'all need to be giving the black owned brands but anyways that's i can't tell y'all what to do because i want a louis vuitton never full bag but wanting it for a while so i can't say nothing but i'm just saying y'all have seen these bags i'm sure on instagram everywhere they're super popular right now i'm so happy for him that his brand is that's like just blown up in a major way people are supporting i love it and i really wanted slash needed a new just everyday go-to purse because at first this is what i was using this is just a black little leather purse that i got from target and it's been lasting me for a while i've had this like a year or two but i just wanted to switch it up get a new bag for like my go-to everyday bag and i'm excited so I just keep, these are wet ones because you know, germs, bacteria, even, bore, even before Corona, I hope y'all was having antibacterial sanitizing stuff in y'all purse anyways. These are just like wipes, my sunglasses that I keep in this little pouch thing. This is actually my COVID vaccine card. I probably need to keep with me. So yeah, let me put that in here. Cool. Just in case somebody want to clock me. No boo. I'm fully vexed. This little pouch here that I love. Keep like a mini nail clipper, nail filer, all that good stuff. Bobby pins in there. Some hand lotion, Jergens, Tylenol because the kid always got a headache all the time. Some little tissue. This is really convenient. This is just like a little travel thing, like the little tooth flossers I keep in my purse. Some pins. This is a little mini body spray. It's literally a drop left, but it smells so amazing. Um, best lip gloss in the entire world from Bath & Body Works. Mentha, best ever. Got some Aquaphor. Aquaphor. Little Jolly Ranchers. Oh, and I have these because I'm literally an old lady. These are individual packs of BioFreeze, basically Icy Hot, um, and they have the little to-go ones. So I have these in my purse, in my car, and by my bed because I'm literally an old woman. AirPods, of course, and um, my wallet is actually in my car. So that's everything in my new bag. So excited y'all I, I really want some chick-fil-a this is why like losing weight for me is just hard because it's the diet portion because i don't mind working out it's the food and it's not even like it's just that planning and trying to like meal prep it's just overwhelming not overwhelming like if i'm hungry like now i'm starving who feels like going downstairs and making a whole meal versus like going to a restaurant real quick and buying something and then everything at the restaurant is pretty much not healthy. I need help. I'm about to go see somebody, therapist, to get my mind right or Jenny Craig or somebody. Sorry, that's my bad. So you said. So I want the Kobe Jack cheese. Regular deluxe Kobe Jack cheese. Yeah. Perfect. What was that drink? Uh, lemonade, light ice. Lemonade, light ice. Perfect. Anything else? That's all. all right. Hey y'all, so I thought I'd just turn on my camera while I eat real quick before I go to work. But, um, just eating a salad. And I made an iced coffee. Y'all, first off, um, my iced coffees have not been hitting lately. Like, I don't know, all of my iced coffees that I make taste watered down. I don't know what the heck is going on. But anyways, after, it's like a little bit left in the jug, about this much left of my coffee. Uh, I'm going to take a break from drinking coffee for like a month 
or two. Um, just cause like too much coffee is not, which I already noticed, but obviously too much coffee, all that caffeine is not good for you. And then I can tell I drink too much coffee because it doesn't even give me energy how it used to because my body is like getting used to it. So yeah, I'm gonna take a little break for the little coffee. Um, but yeah, I'm not doing much of anything right now besides eating this delectable salad. I'm kind of sad because I was supposed to be going to Tampa, Florida for with my cousin for her birthday but I don't think I'm gonna be able to go. Kinda sucks, cause I really was trying to be outside. <sighs> Anyways guys, I think this is gonna be the end of this vlog. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. My vlogs may be a little boring, <laughs> um, but <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Hey guys, so today is Saturday. Wanna be in my vlog? Anyways, we are actually, me and my sister are actually about to go to, what do I call Chris? A family friend's birthday. I don't know how old Chris turned in. 30, 28, 29, whatever. But this was not in the plan for me, but I'm tagging along to see what you I'm doing. Invited. Oh, I did get invited. But I wasn't really gonna go. I caught Nipsey with a uh, some chocolate, a Butterfinger. Hey, we are going to a party finally. It's a cookout. But what isn't it? It's a birthday party. Yeah, it's, it's a big out. I mean, well, for Chris. Is it inside yeah. or outside? Oh, I'm already hot. Both. I'm already both. All right, close though.